Good morning everyone. Welcome to 15 minutes of body percussion. Again with me, Mr. Martin. Back in school at last. Hope we're all doing well and enjoying your time back at school now. Okay, so it might sound a little bit different, obviously being in a different room again, but I'm sure that won't make much difference to, to what we've got planned for today. So obviously, for those of you that have been with me week in, week in, that's just joined today for the first time. That's totally fine, it'll pick it up. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with some relatively simple, straightforward warm-up exercises. We're just going to use some call of response patterns, which basically means you copy the same rhythms back that I've played to you. Okay, I've got my trusty little device here, which is going to help us keep in time and give us some interesting back and tracks to play along to as well. Uh, but what we have been doing, obviously those who have been with me every week, we've been kind of building up these rhythms using our different types of notes, crotchets, quavers, semi-quavers, and rests. So we've been using some crotchet rests as well. So we've built, been building up a repertoire of notation. So we're doing quite well. We've, we've covered quite a lot of stuff over a relatively short space of time, really. Um, so. We're going to do a little bit more on that this week as well. So we're going to try and practice those rhythms a little bit more, get them kind of split up on different body parts and, and get them played along with the music as well. And the plan for next week is to do a little bit more on structure. So putting these rhythms together, kind of bringing rhythms in and out. Um, and if you were with me last week, you might remember I mentioned there's going to be a YouTube video coming to the music. YouTube channel uh, relatively soon, which I've put together, which kind of it rounds up everything that we've done. A lot of these rhythms, the Coca Colas, the coffees, the teas, we're kind of putting. I try to put all of these together um, with a popular song, a song that you would know, a song that you've heard in the charts on the radio. Okay, so we're kind of piecing together the song that way and making making use of these rhythms because obviously these rhythms can be used, and they are used in all types of music, not just body percussion with me on your 15 minutes of music every Tuesday. These rhythms are used by all musicians all of the time. And you'll hear these type of rhythms and these notes are used in music that you would listen to on the radio. Um, so that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. But like I said, let's start off with some warm-ups. Um, we're gonna start rel relatively slow, so I'm gonna set the metronome away. We're just gonna stick with 80 beats per minute for now, and then we're gonna jump up, we're gonna put one of the tracks on, which is a little bit faster, and we'll try some of our rhythms, our more challenging rhythms with that. Okay, so let's get this metronome going first. So the metronome is just going to keep us in time, we're going to follow that. And we're going to try and march on the spot in time with that metronome click. Okay, so after four we'll just get our march going. One, two, three, four, and march on the spot. We're going to try and keep Watch in time with that click. Right, so I'm going to clap a rhythm out and you clap the same rhythm back. One, Okay, so in the middle of that, we did bring the volume down. 
Now, volume in music, if you remember, is called dynamics, okay? Dynamics is what makes music sound interesting, so everything is not just full volume all of the time, which is really boring. So we're trying to incorporate some dynamics into our playing as well, and we can do that using body percussion as well, so just clapping quietly and then gradually bringing our, our volume up, okay? So that's dynamics. We've discussed tempo as well. So tempo is speed of music. So the speed of the music that we play. So obviously we were relatively slow there. 80 beats per minute for that. I'm going to put this slightly quicker back and track on. Okay, so you can hear that. We're going to try and follow that bass pattern. So I'm just clicking the pulse in time with that track there. Hopefully you can hear and feel that pulse as well. So we're going to march on the spot with this after four. One, two, three, march on. So we can feel the pulse, feel that beat. Right, so we're going to try some more rhythms. Just pop this once again, me, then you. Here we go. One, two. jump back over to our flashcards, our rhythm cards on screen. So I'll just quickly do a, bring a screen share for that. And like I say, those of you that have been attending these sessions for the last few weeks, you'll understand what we're doing here. Big names above the notes there as well, just to help us out. So the first rhythm we were looking at uh, was the Coca-Cola T, Coca-Cola T. Now, if you remember the, the Coca-Cola notes, so that's our notes with a double line across the top connecting them, them together. That's our semi-quaver notes. And we've got our crotchets, which are the T's. That's our individual notes. Dead easy to spot. And like I say, these notes cover all music. Okay, so it doesn't matter if we're, just, we're doing body percussion today or playing the drums or playing piano or singing or playing guitar, anything. If you can, if you can recognize these on these sessions, you've kind of picked up some basic notation skills. Whenever you see notes like this in the future, in school, in music class, whatever it is, in bands, hopefully you'll recognize what they are straight away. And you'll know, right, they're semi gravers they're crotchets, I know what they are, I know what they sound like. It gives you a, a bit of a head start with playing music, really. Uh, okay, so Coca-Cola T, Coca-Cola T is our rhythm and we split this up between our knees and our feet. So we play the Coca-Cola notes on our knees and we will alternate in our hands, so Coca-Cola. And then the T was a foot stamp on the floor. And obviously we do that twice to fill the bar. Coca-Cola T, Coca-Cola T. Right, so what we're going to do is... We're going to try and loop this rhythm, okay? So rather than call and response, I'm going to set a, a back and track away again, a slightly different one this time, but we're going to loop around this rhythm. Yeah. Choose this one, it's nice and steady. Okay, so we're just going to loop around. Coca Cola T, Coca Cola T. I'll count you in after four. So there's no marching on the spot for this, obviously, because we need our feet. After four. One, two, three, four. Coca Cola T, Coca Cola T. Coca Cola T, Coca Cola T, Coca Cola T, Coca Cola T, Mark. 
Okay, let's hold that one there. Okay. Right, so that's our Coca-Cola tea rhythm, very important. So we have four rhythms here to look at and cover. And these four rhythms are the four rhythms that are going to be used in that YouTube video I was talking about. So it's going to be based around these four rhythms, played this exact same way. Right, our next rhythm is coffee, tea, hot chocolate, tea. Coffee, tea, hot chocolate, tea. Now the way we're going to split this one up is we're going to use our feet for the coffee. We're going to clap on that first tea. We're going to use our knees for the hot chocolate and we're going to use a foot stamp for the last tea. So we have coffee, tea, hot chocolate, tea. Okay, let's practice that one with our uh, backing track. Can you do it after four? Here we go. One, two, three, four. of this now and these are starting to fall into place. Third rhythm, lemonade, tea, rest, tea. So very important on the rest, we don't do anything. That's a moment of silence. Now this one we're going to split up like this. We're going to use our chest for the lemonade, but we're still going to alternate our hands so we can manage that. If you can get away with doing one hand, you can do that, but I find it easier to do two, especially when we start building the speed with these rhythms. It's easier to use two hands. So we've got chest on the lemonade, clap for the tea, obviously nothing on the rest. If you want to do that in the rest, just kind of push your hands to the side, just to make sure you're not going to clap your hands. You can do that. Then we're going to clap on the last tea. So lemonade, tea, rest, tea, lemonade, tea, rest, tea, lemonade, tea, rest. Tea, lemonade, tea, rest. Okay, let's try that one. Three, four, left, rest. So really interesting now and just using up different parts of our body for the different parts um, it really breaks it up so the last one this is the fourth rhythm from this selection we've got coffee lemonade rest tea now the coffee we're going to use our hands the lemonade rhythm we're going to use our chest so coffee lemonade obviously nothing on the rest so again you can do that if you like and we're going to use finger clicks for the last T. So, lemonade T. Lemonade rest T. Lemonade rest T. 
music this is going to be the last one for today and next week we'll do a little bit more on these and kind of structuring them and one two three four Can remember these these rhythms even if you want to take a screenshot of the screen just so you've got a copy of the rhythm choose your favorite song you can put your headphones in if you like and just listen through that song and just practice one or two or all of these rhythms if you want and just kind of alternate between them and just loop around the rhythm so you really get to grips with them and just doing that three and a half four minute song that's a lot of time to practice these rhythms and it will really help your muscle memory. So the next time you come to play the, the same rhythm, it's going to be a lot easier. So you'll have to think a little bit less about it. So that's a good practice technique if you want to do a little bit of that this week. But like I said, next week when I see you, I'm just taking this 